Alright, so let's go to the 26. Right, so In the top uh, slide 26, let's go to the victim VM. And I just uh, close every window and run rank edit. Then let's go to search for the image file execution options. So go to the uh, registry key path, which is in the slide 26. And in the reg edit, right. same, thing. same thing. Yeah. Do you know that for compatibility? Is that for compatibility? Uh, Windows, Windows NT. I haven't cleaned up the registry. Okay. <laughs> Software. So, Windows NT. I've noticed that they actually. Uh, uh, we built like parts of the operating system. So, for example, like uh, the IP stack, Windows 7 is called U. Okay. Are you at? In the reg edit, are you at this path, image file execution option? And can you check if there is a task manager? You see here? Entry? You don't, right? You don't, okay. Now let's see how this image file execution option can be used to persist. So. And it is not only the malware, it's actually used by the legitimate uh, software, which is we are going to see right now. And here, let's minimize and go to the sys internal suite and go to process explorer. Start. When you select, where's where each one is it? It has options, and it has replace task manager, right? And click, and let's go back to registry editor and file. There should be a refresh. Maybe refresh F5. You can select F5, click here somewhere in the empty space, and click F5. Then you will see the task manager, the .exe, under image file execution option, right? That you you will see the new registry key uh, has been generated, uh, created, and inside there is a value, right? Debugger, <coughs> right? And it has now path as a system internal suite and process explorer.exe, right? So how about let's close it, process, close the uh, process ex explorer, and start, run, and start the uh, task manager, task MGR. As you see, so what it happens is, what if the there is an entry in the image uh, image file execution option? If there is an entry and it has a debugger value, then whenever this specific uh, uh, file being executed, then it actually executes the debugger first. 
I did not first. We executed the, what uh, it's uh, executable base specified in the debugger value. So now guess how this malware we're gonna run. Use any person guess e maybe the easiest way to do it. If malware is you know using this you know image file execution option, how do you think it is? So you just replace it certain executable, but then you will notice okay I just launch the task manager but nothing is happening then you know something is going on right then what how my way we're gonna do it and you guess my way is you know you want to you know compromise the machine but it even uh dumb malware still you want to be stealth as possible right what we're we gonna do my way if we make the kind of entry in the you know image file this you know image file execution option if we make a new entry what are you gonna do okay well the malware so wait for the command task manager it has initiates the malware but then the malware goes back to releasing task manager to be that's right its original function that's right right so you execute this cell and then call the original one then you know you will not see anything different task manager pops up my system is clean, right? So that's one just one way to doing it, doing it for the malware, right? All right. There was the one thing. 